Hey, it's Jason. In WordPress 2.7, they introduced a new feature which allows you to automatically and easily install new plugins with inside the WordPress dashboard. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use that feature and functionality so you can easily install plugins from anywhere. This enables you to no longer have to log into your FTP program or anything else. All you do is you just go to the dashboard, click a button, type in a query, and install your plugin. So I'm going to show you how to do this live in this video. So as always, you can read the full article at enlightenedwebmastery.com. So here's a step-by-step -step overview of what we need to do, then we're going to do it live, and then we'll recap again. So to get started, you go to your dashboard, then you click under plugins. You scroll down to the bottom of the plugins menu and choose the installer option. Then on the new screen, you type in the name of uh, what you're looking for, or a tag, and, or the term, or the author. And then once you're done, on the far right, you click install, and that pretty much sums it up. So here we are live. So here we are inside the dashboard. After I've clicked the plugin installer option at the bottom of the plugin screen, you're presented with this screen right here. From here, you can type in a search term, tag, or you can sort by author for what you want to look for. If you've already downloaded the plugin, um, you can just click the browse button and install it that way instead of having to go through the FTP, just a new functionality. So for this example, I'm going to type term and I'm going to type in stats. Then you click search and you're presented with various plugins right here so you can see the name of the plugin the rating the version and the description so for this option i'm going to install wordpress stats it's a nice little stats program and it has very low overhead so when you're ready just click the install button and right here you get a description and once you're through this description you can click install now after you finish that and it takes you to this next screen and here is where you input your host name, your login information, and your password. This is going to be your FTP login and password information. So you use the same info here that you would use if you were logging into your account via your FTP program. So after you've done this, go ahead and click proceed. Then within about a few seconds, you'll reach this screen right here. And it tells you that it's downloaded the plugin, it's unpacked it, it's installed it, and it's ready to go. So all you have to do now is click activate plugin, and you are good to go. Now in the example I installed WordPress.com stats. So after I enabled that plugin, all I needed to do was, uh, after I clicked activate, was to get my API key. And to do that, you just need to either create a WordPress.com account or go ahead and sign into the one you got. If you already have one, it's an associated with a different blog, that's fine. Whenever you, whenever you add the API key, all you have to do is click the button, it'll add it as a new blog, and the stats are automatically set in your dashboard. But as this video isn't really about WordPress.com stats, it's just about the plugin. So I hope you found this video and article useful, and I encourage you to check it out, start using the new interface. It's really, really nice, and it takes a lot of headaches out of everything, especially since you can just search for a tag, so you don't have to go on the, their website or Google up a whole lot of stuff. You just go to your dashboard, click a button, install it, activate it, and you're good to go. So I hope you've enjoyed this article. And I'll talk to you soon.